Hi everybody, this is Father Bill and this is your Friday Reflection. Well, around here, it's right now Wednesday as I record this, and that means it is garbage day. So I'm going to take out some garbage here, which reminds me, you know, as a spiritual thing to think about, is how is our faith connected to garbage day? Well, we have a particular sacrament that can help us with that, and that is the Sacrament of Reconciliation. I was uh, doing some uh, gardening, which you can see here, there's the remnants of some of the gardening things. And for a lot of people, that is a place of joy, of relaxation. Uh, but for me, anything but. <laughs> anything but that. I really do not like to do weeding. I'm pretty sure that hell is a weed garden that just never goes away. Uh, so just a couple of weeks, or just this last week, I was going in the backyard. And thank God I put on some uh, Christian praise music because it was tough. I was just grumbling and uh, having a big, real difficult time with doing this. But, uh, you know, of course, then I would throw that stuff in the bin here. And that would be uh, kind of a satisfactory moment that I got to it. As I started in praising God, even though I want to do the job, I did not want to be weeding. I wanted to be doing some other. Uh, so anyhow, it kind of gives me some, uh, some joy to now take this uh, to the edge of the the curb here to let it get taken care of my little trailer there and uh, that's my zombie apocalypse option <laughs> actually it's for the, my, the Oregon Star Party I get that every year I try to go every year and then uh, go uh, take my telescope with 700 geeks and their friends and uh, take a look at the stars but anyhow back to this so I can take out the garbage here the sacrament of reconciliation is like that we as we go through our days, we sin. We are sinners, myself included. And every now and then we need to take out the trash, right? Well, that's just one of those ways to do it. So that was the uh, the greens, the lawn stuff now, just for the regular garbage. We have all kinds of different sins in our lives, right? That create all kinds of garbage and chaos. When we go to the uh, Sacrament of Reconciliation, it's kind of like the garbage man come takes care of takes care of business and uh, the priest absolves us of our sins uh, through of course the sacrament and jesus's passion his death and resurrection and his call to the apostles to forgive sins it gave him the power to do so and get out of the sun here Whew. tough so think about these things so when you are on vacation you're going on vacation this summer Maybe while you're there, you're not having a great time. We should be probably enjoying ourselves, but sometimes we, we, well, we mess up. We say things to our families and friends while we're on vacation because of just being frustrated, and we still need to go to confession. So, you know what? I want to think, think about this. Go to church. I think last time I was, uh, last week I was talking about taking God with you. Now, as you take God with you, take, take God with you even when you're, going to church, but consider going to confession. Consider going to confession. Oh, this is the front yard. I've been trying to trim this apple tree for a while to varied success. Again, not my, not my expertise, but uh, it's better. But when you go and you're on vacation and you, you know, you say a hurtful word or you say things that you regret to family or friends while you're on vacation, this is a great time to go to confession. You know what's even great about this is that uh, sometimes people struggle like, well, I'll know the priest or he'll know me, he'll know my voice. And well, not when you're on vacation, that's for sure, because you're a foreign person in a foreign land, right? Think about that, right? So that will just take one less mark off the resistance for you to go to confession. So, and then you'll enjoy your, your vacation more because you can go and you can be restful and peaceful uh, and just a better version of yourself. And that's really what we're supposed to be doing, right? The recreation is to recreate, be, be better and be uh, holier, to uh, be more alive. God wants us to be fully alive. And we hear that uh, uh, in the scriptures, John chapter 10, verse 10, I come that you may have life and life to the full. So let's, let's take care of those sins because that's the stuff that impedes us from having a life in the full. Because uh, otherwise we just kind of carry... We just carry our garbage around and uh, roll it from one place to another, and it just doesn't help. So let's take care of that, folks. If you're on vacation, go to confession as well. Talk to you later. See you this weekend. Oh, by the way, this weekend, 
Father Anthony is going to be with us this weekend. This will be his first weekend with us. I'll be doing the Masses. He'll be kind of celebrating. And who knows, maybe we'll mix it up. You never know. But I'll be preaching. Keep the load low for him So, because he's brand new. I hope that you'll then give him a Holy Trinity welcome and a joy as you did me last year about the same time. And again, until this weekend, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> Buddy, what's going down? Snickers, what do you think? What do you think? Yeah, what's up there?